सो हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अनदर जियोलॉजिकल मैप एक्सरसाइज सो दिस इज सेवेंथ एक्सरसाइज दैट आई एम डूइंग एंड द एवरी नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज गोइंग टू बी लिटिल डिफिकल्ट एंड यू विल यू नो गेट सो मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम अ सिंगल यू नो मैप ओके बट uh before that you should watch the previous videos also okay so that you know uh you know you will interpret more okay so in this map okay if we look at this map we are getting c b c d so it means this part is also d okay and then we are again getting e f g n h and this side we are getting f and d e. and this is our a so this map is also very interesting okay and lot of information we can get from this single map how we can get lot of information from this single map okay if we look at this part okay c sorry d c b we get c and we get d okay up to that this much okay and a if we put a if we you know this part is not eroded okay so a will be here okay so b and both side of b we get c and after the d so there is either folding or faulting so then we have to decide okay how we can interpret this okay so apart from that if we look at this side Uh, we are getting a uh, e uh, another set of you know strata okay so now first we have to find out the dip okay after that the things will be easier for us to understand okay what kind of fold it is if it is a fold if, okay so if we look at this part we are getting This is a same uh, single strata boundary, and if uh, strata boundary is cut by the contour at two places, we can mark those points. Okay, here we are getting this is a contour of thousand. Okay, this is thousand contour. Okay, this is twelve hundred. This is eleven. This is this is thousand contour. Okay, and this is our eleven hundred contour. Okay, it means this is our eleven hundred contour. So it means tipping, and we have to draw a perpendicular for this. Okay, and this horizontal distance is this horizontal distance is one point. Three okay, and beds are dipping toward from higher contour to lower contour. Okay, it means it is dipping toward this side is dipping toward east. Okay, this part. Okay, now if we look at this part, okay, I'm, I'm looking at this part. Here I'm getting the contour cutting the same, and this point also. okay and this contour is our 900 contour okay this point is contour is 900 and this contour is 1000 and this is again dipping toward this side okay but 
0.5 but the perpendicular distance between the two is only 0.5 centimeter okay here it is 1.3 centimeter okay what we interpret from these two okay i will tell later okay first i will find is there any change from this side if you look at this part we are getting same this one is our 600 this one is our 500 and this it's a dipping toward this side and distance is 1.3 okay and this one is a perpendicular okay up to now all the beds are dipping toward east okay beds are also repeated but all the beds are dipping toward east but these strata this strata and this strata is dipping with the same amount but this strata is dipping with the different amount okay if the distance horizontal distance between the two you know strata boundaries are more it means beds are gentle okay low dipping okay and if it if this distance is less if we want to interpret it from the map itself okay so it means beds are steep so these beds are steeper these two are gentle okay so now how we interpret from this we will proceed okay and uh, is there anything else we can observe if we look at this part okay this is 1200 contour this is 1200 contour this is 1100 this is 1100 okay I don't want to make it clumsy more clumsy okay that's why I'm drawing small small lines okay this is 1200 this is 1100 so it is dipping toward this way okay and we can also find out the dip amount okay if needed okay and this this side also this is our 1300 contour so this part is dipping toward So this part is dipping toward this side, this part is dipping toward this side, okay. And uh, if I will look at this part, I'm not, okay. If I'm looking at this part, okay, here, here, okay. same contour okay, cutting at two points okay same contour cutting at two points this is our 900 contour this is our 800 contour so it means dipping this way okay in a similar way this side also so this one is our same contour okay 900 one in this will be in this way so now we have to interpret from this okay uh, how we 
we can interpret from this map now okay so if we look carefully okay there are two type of holding okay there are two type of holding I will draw the first holding then I will draw the second holding okay if we look this part okay we are getting the shutter dipping toward this side okay and these are dipping toward this way okay so it means this is the one fold axis this is the one fold axis okay and another fold axis is what another fold axis is like this how I am able to interpret that okay I will construct so that you can understand this is our Okay, it is almost similar like this okay this one is our f1 fold whose actual plane plane is curved now okay suppose now I will show you how this is going to be happen okay this is very interesting okay if you have the concept of overturn fold okay if you have a concept of overturn fold so you, uh, then you can easily understand this part okay and which one is the older one we have to you know think about it okay suppose Our scenario is like this these weights are dipping carefully now okay these weights are dipping toward this way these okay with gem uh, means uh, gentle dip okay these weights are dipping this way but steeper slope so if we look at this part now these weights are dipping toward this way these weights are also dipping toward this way these weights are also dipping toward this way so it means So it means this is our F2 fold axial plane. Okay. So, but the case is like this. Because everything is dipping toward this now these weights are dipping this way these weights are dipping this way these weights are dipping this way and this data is also this data is dipping this way you will understand okay are you able to visualize the things Okay, 
it these things are happened after the bathing okay okay these things are happened okay so if i will draw this thing it is something like this this is dipping this way this part is dipping more than okay and this part is also dipping this way if i will take this line okay so now we have to find out that which one is the older one okay So now we can do that. We have to draw a cross section. We will draw a cross section along this line itself. Okay. This is our eleven hundred contour. Okay. And the lowest one is 500 so 500 600 700 800 900 1000 1100 1200 okay and this one is our 1100 contour This one is about ten thousand contour, and this one is about nine hundred contour. Okay, I'm drawing roughly. Okay, this one is about eight hundred. It's seven hundred. It's six hundred. This one is a five hundred. And if we join it, we're getting it like this. Okay. Now I have to plot the data. This This is over. Okay, now these beds are steeper. Okay, this part where the width is less. Okay, so this part is dipping with gentle. Okay, this part, this C. Okay, and this part is dipping toward this way, okay, from this way, dipping this way, but steeper. This is our D, this is our C, this is our B, this is our C. getting D and then we are getting we are getting E to this we are getting steeper data okay this up to this we are getting steeper data okay this this much G Okay, now we have to draw it in G, F, E, D, C, B, okay, and this data is 
grain dipping with grain dipping with same like this now we construct this okay this is happening okay This is G, this is our H, and this is our again G. This is the overall picture of the map. This is the overturned fold. and the oldest data is this one H then G then F okay why we are not be able to see this this thing due to erosion okay we are unable to see those things okay all those things are eroded now okay these things are okay so this is our actual plane okay okay and these this is the example of overturned fold okay but if we look at this part it is dipping toward this way okay if I fold it again this is the picture right of that we have that we have observed now okay this is the picture this is something like this okay hope you learned something from this video so it is a what kind of superimposed folding what type of superimposed folding okay one two three which one okay mention in the comment box because i have already make one video on superimposed folding okay so in this case uh, f1 actual plane is curved and f2 actual plane is okay and uh, this much I am going to tell in this video okay hope you learn something from this video okay this is you know very good